Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today we're gonna talk about getting your day off on the right foot and the things that I do almost every single morning to kind of ensure that the day goes really smoothly and I don't have, you know, like a rough morning and my family doesn't have a rough morning. So first, if you haven't yet, make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button and down below in the description box, I have a link to our free Facebook group where we have over 3,000 homeschooling parents where you can ask questions, get help, advice, all that fun stuff. Also, just a small note, I've had a cold, so if I sound a little off, that's why. I apologize. <laughs> there is no, I didn't have a voice for a couple days and now it's finally back and I need to get back into filming and it's just not all there yet, so sorry. I've talked a little bit about this on Instagram, but the first thing I want to kind of go over is physical activity. This isn't something that I can do every day because of my health condition. So on those days that I feel good, and luckily I have way more good days than bad days at this current moment in my life, um, I always try to do some kind of physical activity, even if it's just walking or even if it's like a full workout, I try to do some kind of activity unless my pain level is at a point where I can't. And that does so many things for me. Even, the, so I do a lot of walking videos. They're free on YouTube. I use the Leslie Sandstone YouTube workout videos and she has all kinds of videos. Like I swear there's gotta be like a thousand of them where she's just walking and even when i'm really sick sometimes i can still do those and it really does help me feel better it gives me some energy it puts a little pep into my day and i honestly feel so much better after i do that even if it's a 15 minute walking video i'm sure so many of you out there can carve out 10 or 15 minutes to just walk in front of the TV, do it with the kids. I started doing that when my kids were toddlers. I would actually have them join in with me and we would work out together. So look at doing that with some of your kids and it will get out some of those wiggles too before you start school. Usually my goal is to get between 1,000 and 3,000 steps in before I actually start my day to kind of start off my track, my fitness tracking. And I wear, I have one of those fitness watches. I love this thing. I always have to wear a heart monitor because of my condition and I love that it actually tracks my steps too. So I try to get 10,000 steps a day and most days I'm able to do that. Some days I'm not. Um, so if I could get one to 3,000 in before I'm even starting my day off, that's going to give me that, that jump ahead. So the next one is turning on the appliances or doing a little bit of cleanup. Now, Usually I have a pretty set schedule routine of how I run things in the morning and part of that is getting the laundry in and getting the dishes going. So whether that's unloading the dishes because I started it the night before or if it's putting the dishes in the dishwasher and turning it on, I want to get those two appliances going so the dishes don't pile up and so the laundry doesn't pile up. I always try to do at least one load of laundry every day or every other day to kind of keep the laundry from becoming a mountain in my house and that really helps keep down on everything especially because my kids are in sports and they have uniforms and all that fun stuff so it's actually easier for me to just keep it on like this continual cycle and being a homeschool family we have a lot of dishes we eat all of our meals at home so for me making sure that those dishes don't pile up is pretty essential in my house because if I don't do it after each meal it's gonna be a mountain as well. So it's just easier if I have those two things going in the morning so I can just keep going throughout the rest of my day. Hey, you guys, I sound so awful today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this video, I promise. So the next thing that I do is pretty self-explanatory. I have Bible and prayer time every single day. Now, the times and the methods of those depend on how I'm feeling. Over the last couple days, it's been a really difficult for me to actually hold and read a book because there are medications out there and I'm on one of them that makes it hard to actually concentrate for your eyes on written words and to actually read them. So I have to use a lot of audiobooks and apps that read books to you. 
So I use a Bible app, it's the ESV app, and if you know who Keith and Kristen Getty are, uh, they, they composed and sing In Christ Alone, the actual original one, and I love all their music. Our church has so much of their music. It's actually Kristen Getty who is the speaker of the entire Bible on this app. So it's really neat hearing her voice over there. So many days, including today, I had to actually listen to the um, to the app instead of reading it in my hands. So the next one is also pretty big and that is prepping the day before. So. I try to do this on most days. Some days it just totally slips my mind and I have to do it the morning of. If I'm actually on my game though, I will actually prep the schoolroom the night before instead of the morning of. And doing that just makes it so much easier for myself. So I do try to remember to do this every single night. Some days I totally fail. Last night I, I failed. I didn't do it last night. I should have, I didn't. So, so when I'm done with this video, I'm actually going to go ahead and prep the board and make sure that I have everything to go for the day before the kids get too involved in here and it just gets a little bit overwhelming. So I'm actually going to do that as soon as I'm done recording. But on a, on a good day, I've done it the day before. <laughs> Luckily, what I do make sure to do every weekend though is to do my lesson planning so I know if there's any experiments, art activities, things like that, and I have all those materials ready to go, that takes care of half the battle for me. The rest of it is just making sure the night before that I have all those things either laid out and that the board is done and making sure that I let the kids know or that they know the day before, like, hey, you might have a test in this, you need to study, that type of thing. Um, and that way they know ahead of time so nothing is sprung up on them at the last second because that can make for a really bad day. <laughs> so these next two are just bonuses here. Those are the main four things, but I'm gonna go over two little bonus things for you. First, music. I'm a big music person. I love music and when things are just too quiet, it's actually hard for me to concentrate. So I know that sounds so silly, but it is. Um, it's, it, that's just the way that my brain works, I guess. That's why I make so many of those ambience videos on my channel because I know that there's other people out there like me. So what I like to do is, um, I turn on some of those ambience videos for my school room and for my house and it just makes everything really calm and, you know, the music is really low so it's not overwhelming, it doesn't bother anybody but it's also enough to where it's not so quiet, especially because there's construction going on in my neighborhood right now. And the last thing I wanna hear all day long while we're doing school is hammers. <laughs> That's all I've been hearing for weeks. I wake up to hammers and it feels like I go to sleep to hammers and I'm so sick of hearing banging all day long. So it's just one of those things that kind of drowns that out but it also kind of calms everything down in here as well too. And I think the last one needs no explanation but coffee. If I don't have coffee in my house, there's gonna be two adults with really irritable tempers in my house and I am included in those two. So we have coffee. I make sure to have coffee. I've started drinking coffee again over the last couple of months. I didn't, I wasn't able to drink it for a long time because I wasn't allowed to have caffeine on some of the medications that I was on and I can drink coffee again. So I started drinking coffee again. I'm kind of, it's slow go. I'm still only drinking like half to one cup a day max, but just that little bit is, is enough to give me that little bit of energy that I need. <laughs> I think we all need as homeschool parents. So anybody else feel the same way about coffee? I know that there's some diehard coffee people out there. So I know there's a lot of people who could not do homeschool without coffee. I think it's like an essential part of being a homeschool parent. Um, you got your books and you need your coffee. So to all my other coffee people. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Let me know, what do you do every day to kind of make your day run a little bit smoother? I would love to know because it might help me too. Let me know, what is your kind of like routine in 
your household to kind of make things run really easy in the morning, what do you do? Post it down below in the comments. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Happy homeschooling.